What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are here with another Audi TT RS video and today is the day. I was told by 034 Motorsport that they have the tune and we are good to go. But before I finally put the stage two tune on this car, I need to fix some things first. I love this car so much. Like I said, there are a few things that I need to fix. Now the first thing that I need to fix are my exhaust leaks. I'll start it up and you can hear it. It's only really noticeable when you first start the car. There she is. It, it got worse, y'all. goes away. First thing I need to find are the exhaust leaks. I'm hoping it's just something that got moved around in the rear. Otherwise it is my mid pipes or I really really hope it's not the down pipe. I don't really hear it coming from the front area which that would be the hardest thing to fix if it was. I think it's something mid pipes or back so I need to throw it up on the lift. I've been driving the car around for a while now so hopefully we'll be able to tell where there is some residue and hopefully find the exhaust leak. So that is number one. And number two is something that you guys actually warned me about after seeing the video of my downpipe and midpipes install. You're in my seat, buddy. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Here you go, this is your seat. Okay, the other thing that I have to fix is something that I did wrong, okay? And luckily, I have you guys looking out for me, calling me out when I make a mistake, and I did not know that Audi subframe bolts are like one-use stretch bolts. No idea, luckily, I got some Audi techs here on the channel looking out for me. And ironically, 034 had already sent me these subframe bolts to replace in my car when I dropped everything and reinstalled the subframe. So, yes, I'm aware. Thank you guys for letting me know. And that is what I need to fix today. So the subframe actually like moves around very, very easily. And when you put the bolts back in, it's not gonna be completely centered and you usually have to get another alignment done. Now, what 034 has are bolts that you put back in that have these locking collars that make it so that they go in in the exact position so that your car is not all out of whack and it also adds a lot of rigidity to the subframe as well, takes away creaking, and by stiffening up the chassis a little bit, it helps with responsiveness and overall handling. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm going to be replacing the one-time stretch subframe bolts that I used more than one time and installing the 034 bolts that I have that come with the locking collars on it. I also have uh, the new bolts as well for the dog bone mount that I did put on there. I put on the new one by 034, but I used the same stock bolts um, and now I have new ones. So again, thank you guys for looking out and letting me know. I didn't know these Audi things. And honestly, I've never even heard of a one-time bolt. I don't think I've ever worked on a car where like you can only torque it once, especially something like a subframe bolt. So I had no idea. And we're gonna take care of that today so that I'm 100% solid and good to go when I put the stage two tune on. So these are the CNC machined locking collars by 034. This is what I'm going to be putting on the car. And this will help our little alignment issue that we have as well. This kit that they have does come with the bolts and doesn't require any modifications or anything. So very, very simple. Gonna throw the car up on the lift, find our exhaust leaks, replace the bolts, put in the locking collars, and then move on to the tuning. <laughs> See, I'm driving straight right now and the wheel is slightly to the left. So. Do you think 
made for an exhaust leak, uh, you kind of look on the creases and stuff for like little black stuff. You can see how there's kind of like a little black line there. That's it. Ooh. I mean that that I don't one think is your only one. Right um, there. But that is certainly a exhaust leak. Okay. I really do hope that's the only one because I don't. I really hope it's not the turbo clamp. <laughs> Start it up, see if we fix these leaks. Hopefully it was just the sleeves and the mid pipes towards the back. Fingers crossed. Starting. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, your car's always ticked like this. I know. Yeah, I don't remember being this that bad. It's in the exhaust. It's like something engine related that it does on warm up because it goes away Because now it's pretty much gone Give it a little rev Crazy. Maybe it was just that a little leak at the mid pipe of, in the back. Hopefully it was. I know I got Audi text on here, so maybe you didn't tell me why. It just sounds like on startup something's rattling. I know the injectors are loud. They do a lot of ticking, which is kind of a normal thing. I don't know. At least we fixed one leak that was pretty small, and now we can move on to replacing our subframe bolts, put in our locking collars in there and then get to the fun stuff with the tune. Do you want to put a tune on the car? <laughs> yes. Oh, about time? Yes. Okay, fine. Fine. What about you? <laughs> pretty rattly when you first start it up. Maybe that's a normal thing, but we did fix a small exhaust leak. Oh look, my wheel is center, just from all of those lockout collars. And I have 
brand new subframe bolts in the car and I also swapped out all the dodd bone mount bolts as well and there was another metal piece that I did not put in the dodd bone mount that 034 sent me so I got that metal piece in that dodd bone mount as well everything's torqued to spec to and we are now ready for our 034 Motorsport Dynamic Plus tune. I can finally get rid of that check engine light and the stage two tune is going to let me maximize the downpipe, midpipes, and intake that I just installed on this car. I'm super, super stoked. They actually just sent me the files to do this. I'm freaking ready. Let's do this. The time has finally come. To the internet. I gotta go over by the shop to get to okay. Wi Fi. Alright, so we have our OBD2 adapter and cables from them. They're so on brand. Look at them with this black and yellow color coordination. There we go. Okay, I'm actually messaging the 034 guys right now and they are gonna let me do a transmission tune in addition to the stage two tune. So this is gonna be sick. Let's do it. All right, you guys, I think we are ready. <sighs> All right, stage two tune, here we come, baby. <gasps> oh my God, let even rally stoked, rally. All right, we're gonna go to our little drag strip on the compound. The only thing that sucks about that strip that we use is that there's not really good traction there. My checked engine light is finally gone, which means I will also have launch control. All right. What happened? You left the brake on? I forgot we have the dogs in the back. Oh. Guys, are you okay? Bro. <laughs> Will my car actually let me rev in neutral now? <gasps> Hell yeah, I've been doing this to everybody at stoplights now. Bro. That sounds like the Huracan in Speed Vegas I did. Oh my gosh, that was cool. I need a moment. Let's do it again. <laughs> if that's what you do if you're at a that stoplight. freaking crazy. Like, it sounds like a full proper rally car now. I wanna see some flames. to life. It is so much more rowdy now. And am thoroughly impressed. It completely evolved my car. Now I feel like my car is a little Pokemon. Adam better watch out. 
Adam better watch out. I'm gonna slowly continue to build and build and build on this platform. I don't know, maybe a TTRS versus Turbo S race in our future? I don't know. With the stage two, they do recommend doing an intercooler upgrade. So that is coming up next on the channel. After I do intercooler, stage three, we're gonna do injectors, maybe E85 as well, and a Haldex controller tune. 034 Motorsport has been this game for a long time, and especially with their tuning software, this stage two tune has been through years and years of harsh abuse and daily driving as well. So you'll see that their tunes not only pack the punch but still give you that daily nice drivability at the same time and coming up very soon we're gonna have a special little surprise that's gonna add a little bit more sauce into my stage two tune I'll be able to tell you guys more about that very very soon we got more TTRS mods coming up on the channel I still haven't even done lowering springs wheels I'm going to add some striping to the car as well that is it for this one huge shout out and thank you to 03 for motorsport they have been my shining light throughout this new world of the audi platform and we got a lot of awesome stuff coming up i'll see you guys in the next one